had a dream, and in the dream I was uh, standing on like a grass-covered mountain, and my family was there, and I remember a man came up to us, and he was basically saying like he had come from the other side of the mountain, and that there he had seen a tornado, so some tornadoes were coming, and so I stood there and just kind of looked up in the sky, and I saw the sky was getting black, and then I could see that the uh, a tornado had come over the one side of the mountain, and um, I, wherever I was standing, it all of a sudden just like turned into a uh, a highway, and so I watched, and people just started coming like from the other side of the mountain down the highway toward where I was at, because my, my home was just like 200 yards uh, in, in this valley, and um, so people just started you know, in droves, running and, and driving to my house. And so I, I looked at my family. I wasn't afraid. I wasn't startled. And I just said, well, we probably better get home. Uh, the storm's coming. So we started to head down the, the mountain. And I looked back, and my sister was lagging behind. And my sister often represents the church when I dream about her. And so I basically just yelled, run. And so she stopped what she was doing and started to come with us. So we got in the house and I shut the door behind us and I knew that we would be safe. I knew that we were going to be um, protected from the storm. I, I just knew that. So I, I wanted to encourage you, you know, that um, I believe that anyone that is hidden in Jesus right now is, is safe and protected um, no matter what comes down the pike. Um, you know, we... Uh, we just need to keep our eyes on him and remember that, you know, all of the things swirling around us, all the, all the darkness, all the evil, all of the, um, the work of, of Satan, we, we don't need to be caught up in that. We don't need to be worried about that. All we need to do is stay focused on Jesus and know, you know, that he is going to keep us hidden and, and to keep our lights shining brightly um, right now and uh, and be a light because I don't believe it's going to be long and we will be seeing uh, we will be seeing the harvest um, coming in we you know I, I also want to share this dream just it wasn't uh, about a year and a half ago maybe and and I believe I'm sharing this because I think it's coming to fruition soon but um, I was standing somewhere with my husband and we were looking up in the sky and I saw all of these white horses and they were carrying people away and I, I knew that these people had been uh, killed they, they had died somehow like in some type of a of a large you know disaster and so the next thing I knew my husband and I were basically walking down this line of people and we were bandaging the wounded and uh, there was one man there, and I remember he was like, he was symbolized, he was symbolic of the government, and he, he was angry that we, the church, were still on the earth, as if he expected that we were going to be gone by now. And I remember just getting kind of annoyed with him, and I said something like, you know, yeah, we are still here, um, you know, so people like you still have a chance to get saved. So... You know, we are here, and I believe we will be here through some dark times. And, and those dark times, those, those uh, trials are God's mercy because it's through those difficult times that people begin to um, turn back to the Lord and reach out to him and, uh, and give their lives back to him. And I believe that's what that, that's what that highway meant. Many people are going to start coming and running home to the Lord you know, when, when the storms come. And I mean, I don't know what all that's going to be. I don't know, you know, what these storms are. I, I think it's going to be a variety of different things. Um, but again, you know, our part as the body of Christ is to let our light shine for Jesus and be there with, uh, you know, a heart filled with mercy and grace to reach out to those who, um, who need to hear the truth, who need um, you know, to be encouraged to come in, you know, to that relationship with Jesus um, that is the only safe place for any of us. So 